Phillies are trackside and parading for race number four, the Isoba, Illinois Standard Bread and Owners and Breeders Association. Here's the field, number one, Don't Tease Me, owned by Tom and Sean Walker of Carrollton. Sean Walker trains and drives. Two is Dolly's Delight, owned by John Leviakis, Mill Valley, California. John Butenschein, uh, the trainer with Dave McGee. Three, So Capable, owned by Lynn Wilfong, Kentland, Indiana. Brett Wilfong trains and drives. Four, Liberation Day, owned by Robert Leroy Enterprises, Inc. of Elgin. Stanley Miller, the trainer. Sam Widger in the bike. Five is Major Flirt, owned by Crystal Springs Stables of Plymouth, Wisconsin. Irvin Miller, the trainer. Andy Miller will be up. Six is Sweet Tootie, owned by Tex Motes and Sundin and Ron Michaelon, all of Illinois. Tex Motes trains Nick Guyberson gets a call. Seven is CC Chickadee, owned by Ron and Carol Cox of Huntsville. Ron Cox trains. Matt Cox will be in the bike. And number eight, it's Midnight Cinderella, owned by Paula and Amanda Smith of Valparaiso, Indiana. Joel Smith trains. Dan Knox will be driving. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Liberation Day between Phillies for the lead. Outside her, out very quickly is Major Flirt on the inside of them. Dolly's Delight gets away well as they thunder into the first turn, driving toward the quarter-mile mark. And on the outside, Major Flirt tries for the lead on the inside with it as they drive that way, but giving way now is Liberation Day. She's second. The new leader is Major Flirt. Third on the inside is Dolly's Delight, fourth against the rail. As they race toward the quarter is Don't Tease Me, getting out five and still there as they reach the uh, quarter-mile station is so capable. Six, Sweet Tootie to the outside. Here comes Sweet Tootie as they roll past the quarter. 28-1. They've gone a good front quarter. Sweet Tootie's on the move. Was six, then five, now four, now three. Racing down the back stretch and out ahead of her. Liberation Day. As they thunder toward the half mile mark, Sweet Tootie pursuing Liberation Day, who's made the top. Major Flirt still on the inside. Second along the rail. Racing four is Dolly's Delight. Fifth following cover on the outside. Don't tease me as they race past the half mile mark. That's station 57-3. They're into the upper turn. And on the outside, Liberation Day on the inside. Major Flirt, Sweet Tootie following cover on the outside. Racing fourth against the rail. Dolly's Delight, fifth on the outside. Don't tease me. Six, no place to go. So capable on the outside of her. Racing seven now is CC Chickadee. And trailing that field of pacing fillies is Midnight Cinderella. They're headed toward the three-quarter. On the outside, Liberation Day keeps trying to make the top. On the inside, fighting her off is Major Flirt. Sweet Tootie will come three wide. They've just raced past the three quarters. 127 on pacing two-year-old Phillies. Top of the lane. They're coming from everywhere as they turn for home. Between Phillies as they race this way to the front. Major Flirt now to the inside. She drops off the pace. And on the outside, Sweet Tootie trying. But the leader in the lane is Liberation Day. She has the lead. Liberation Day. Here comes Dolly's Delight to the wire. Liberation Day. Dolly's Delight far outside. Here comes its Midnight Cinderella. It's going to be Liberation Day. Multiple Philly photo for Four, second, third, and fourth. Home fifth was CC Chickadee. Six was Major Flirt. Seven, two, don't tease me. Eight, so capable. 156 3. The driver who has given very generously of his time this summer. He was here in the grandstand signing autographs today. We appreciate, too, your efforts, Sam, along with all of the other Chicago drivers who availed themselves to the public. Trackside. President of the Illinois Standard Bread Owners and Breeders Association, Ed Teefee, making presentation of the Isoba Blanket to Stanley Miller, who lives in Indiana but races almost exclusively in Illinois and Chicago. Brenda Watson, the director of Isoba, who is the lady that organized the driver's day at her home fair of Fairfield, Wayne County, when she had... Sam, who is trackside now, along with five other prominent drivers, there to sign autographs. Dead heat for show between numbers two, Dolly's Delight, and six, Sweet Tootie. Complete rundown in a moment. There is no dead heat sign on the board, but it is a dead heat. For show, now Kurt Becker. All right, thank you, Carl. We are here with Michael Leroy, Bob's son, who is here representing Bob and the entire family today. Michael, uh, you were just commenting before uh, we got on the microphone here. Kind of an emotional day today, isn't it? It's a very emotional day. This horse means a lot to my entire family because of the name. 
and uh, this is the first horse that they've had that has done so well in such a short period of time. She has done very well indeed and it's a, a big track for the first time and comes home in 156 and 3. We know you'll be talking to your father very soon. If he would please pass along our regards and tell him congratulations. He sends his thanks also. That's Michael Leroy, the son of the winning owner. Let's go back upstairs to Carl. Dead heat. Don't tease me. Seven Dolly's Delight, three dead heat. So capable, eight Liberation Day, the winner. Major Flirt, six Sweet Tootie, three dead heat. CC Chickadee, five. It's Midnight Cinderella, two. Twenty-eight.